now. Tonight, Grand Rapids Mayor Rosalind Bliss delivered her last State of the City address. She is set to leave office at the end of this year. 13 on your side political reporter Josh, Al Josh Albertus went to the address and breaks down what she said. A standing ovation as Grand Rapids Mayor Rosalind Bliss took the stage Thursday delivering her final State of the City address. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for giving me this incredible opportunity to serve our community at such a pivotal time. Term limited to the office, Bliss is set to leave the seat in December after being at the helm of the state's second largest city for more than eight years. Bliss led the city through high profile and even tumultuous times from the coronavirus outbreak and response in the early 2020s to the death of Patrick Leoya in 2022, which at the time became the latest officer involved death of a black person in America to spark national outrage. And for the top challenges the city continues to face now, she said her successor will likely need to be ready for a steep learning curve in the post. You have to be always available and willing to pivot or address the crisis at hand or the issue at hand, as well as continuing to try to move your priorities forward. But while this was her last state of the city, Bliss both verbally and visually clung to a theme of planting seeds and growing. It wasn't local government that invigorated and reinvigorated Ionia Street or Wealthy Street or Bridge Street, Leonard Street, Granville Avenue, and increasingly Boston Square. It was people with a vision and a willingness to act. They planted the seeds of community improvement that grew like beautiful trees. And today, we all sit under the branches, enjoying the shade and benefits. But with some time left, she also made a point to push for priorities in her remaining months in office, including addressing the city's persistent challenge of finding solutions to help the city's unhoused population and aiming by the end of the year to house 100 people who go without shelter. We need an effective coordinated entry system that allows us to match our most vulnerable residents, not only with the housing resources, but the wraparound services necessary to ensure that every single one of them can remain housed long term. Many of the mayor's remarks were met with resounding applause from leaders and others in the crowd, all of whom did need an invitation to attend. I loved how she hit it. We know that there's going to be some challenges when you're trying to do big things, uh, but if we have the uh, courage and the, I would say, the uh, stick to uh, to try to navigate those, uh, I think we're going to come out much better for it. But throughout her address, spanning the better part of an hour, Bliss continued to return to the theme of planting seeds to build the city's future beyond her time as Mayor Rosalind Bliss. So this is my final year of service and my final State of the City address. But I am not done planting and nurturing seeds in our city. And when it comes to who she may believe is best suited to take over on those goals, she told us she is endorsing former state representative David Legrand to take her place. Julia. Josh, thank you.